Hi, it's John from Android Addicts with a walkthrough of the Need for Steed and Horse Tricks quests for The Sims Freeplay. Now the Need for Steed quest doesn't take too long to unlock, maybe a few days, but if you want to complete the Horse Tricks quest then that's going to take a lot longer. I think it took me about two weeks in total to complete. One of the prerequisites is that you must have already unlocked the Mysterious Island, so if you haven't done that click on the link in my description below and you'll see the video that I made regarding the Mysterious Island. So once you've unlocked the Mysterious Island, click on the monument. This is actually a different quest, which is the Raiders of the Lost Artifacts. And that has to be completed first before you get the quest to unlock the stables. So you'll be asked to read the Big Book of Stuff. So go to one of your Sims houses with a bookshelf and read the Big Book of Stuff. Once that's done, that is the quest complete and you'll see the new quest, Need for Steed, has been made available. Now the first task here is to spot horses with a telescope. Before you can actually get the telescope you must buy the Promotions RS store. You can see it here on the map. Requirements for this are 7,500 simoleons, 6 sims and 12 hours. Once that's been built you will see the hobby and career items in the home store. Click on here and the only item you'll have to start with is the telescope, which is exactly what we need. So place that down in the garden and you'll then be able to spot horses with a telescope. This takes five minutes. Once you've done that, you will then be asked to go to the mysterious island. And once you reach there, you'll then be asked to spot the overgrown stables. If you scroll around the map a bit, like I did here, you'll find the stables just to the left of the volcano. So click on them and that will spot them. You'll now be asked to call the mysterious number. Select one of your sims who has a phone in the house and call the mysterious number which takes two minutes. Once that's done you'll be asked to read a horse care manual. Go to your sims house which has a bookshelf and read the horse care manual. That takes 12 hours and 30 minutes. Once you finish reading you will need to call the mysterious number again. That takes another 5 minutes. Next up you'll need to look up a locksmith on a computer. So grab one of your sims and ask them to look up the locksmith. That takes eight minutes. Right, now the locksmith has been looked up, you can now start building the stables. So go back to the mysterious island, click on the stables and start building. This costs 15,000 simoleons, you need to have seven sims and it will take nine and a half hours to build. As if by magic here we are nine and a half hours later and the stables have been built. Call one of your sims over and you'll be asked to clean up the mess in the front yard. Not the nicest of welcomes to your new stables, but still. Select the little speech bubble and remove the oil drum which is blocking the gateway. Give it a good hit with your spade. Once you finish hitting the oil drum, you'll need to call over three of your other sims to be at the stables with you. So just click on the sim tracker and just call over a few sims. So once your four sims are all at the stables, you'll be asked to clear up the mess in the yard. Each junk item in the yard needs to be removed before you can continue. So the trick here is to remove the items which take the least amount of time first. You can then leave the items that take longer overnight or when you're going out, as some of them do take several hours. There's actually no limit to the number of sims you can bring over to help out, so get as many sims as you can to muck in and do some work. As you can see here, the water trough is going to take 10 hours to actually fix. Right, once your poor sims have finished tidying up and fixing things, they can then go home, relax and watch the horse channel on TV. So send them all home and get them all to just sit down in front of the TV for a short while. That takes nine minutes. For a horse channel, they're not showing many horses, are they? Anyway, once that's done, you will then be asked to practice brushing on another sim. 
This is probably the only task that I found slightly disturbing. But as you can see, your sim is now being brushed by another sim and putting some rather odd faces at the same time. Let's quickly skip over that. Once that's been completed, you'll then need to encourage a sim. Encouraging just takes four minutes. Let's get them all involved just for fun. Okay, and now it's time to repair one of the stables. So head back across to the mysterious island, go into the stables and select the only one that you can here. Repair costs 30,000 simoleons, takes just over an hour and adds 15,000 to the value of your town. Once the stable has been repaired, head back across to the stables and click on the green horse and that will complete the task. Now that the stable's ready, you'll be asked to call the stable owners back. So go back to one of the houses with one of your sims and call the mysterious number. It just takes two minutes. And finally, after this, you'll be able to add a horse into the stable. So head back across to the stables. Click on the green horse icon. So what I'm going to do now is just be quiet for a moment and scroll through the available horses so you can get an idea of what they all look like. Now the only horse you can buy initially is the dappled grey horse, that costs 15,000 simoleons. So purchase the horse and then you'll be asked to feed it. Select one of your sims and then click on the horse and feed it, that takes just over 6 minutes. So there are three different paddocks that you can unlock. First off is the Trix Hobby Gate. Secondly is the Vaulting Hobby Gate and lastly is the show jumping hobby gate. Now they must be unlocked in order, so I'm going to start off here just showing you how to unlock the tricks hobby gate. So you click on the little green padlock and click repair. This takes an hour and a half and costs 15,000 simoleons. As you can see, you can't unlock the vaulting hobby until the tricks hobby gate has been unlocked. So once the construction has been completed, Click on the padlock and you'll then be confirmed that it's been unlocked. And then you sadly have got to remove all of this junk inside the paddock. Now again, start with the items, the small items such as the grass and the small stumps and the small rocks as they take the least time. So then you can quickly go through with all your sims and slowly work up to the larger items which take longer and just leave those going and come back to them as and when you can. As you can see here my sims are working very hard throughout the whole night. and I then get them to start clearing up the vaulting paddock as well. Same as before, remove the grass, the flowers, the small rocks and stumps, and there we go. Now 
Once the tricks paddock is clear, you will need to fix the broken fence. That takes five hours. Again, whilst you're doing that, keep on clearing out the vaulting paddock. As we can see, Sparkle Pussyfoot is rather unhappy, so we'll need to cheer her up before we actually start any hobbies. Now when you start a new hobby, your existing hobby will be removed. So as you can see here, I'm just double checking which hobby I want to remove from which person, and I have chosen the lucky winner, who is Camilla Last. So confirm you want to forget your other hobby, select the horse and then select horse tricks. You'll see your sim interacting with the horse. So after the three hours is up, you'll unlock one of the horse tricks. Now there's 12 to collect and you need to be certain levels of the hobby to actually unlock further tricks. So to complete the horse tricks task and unlock the vaulting hobby, you must collect all 12 of the horse tricks. Here you can see I collected the here boy, that was the first one. And as you progress, you can see slightly faint here, level two and level three. So once you've reached level two of the horse tricks hobby, you could unlock that trick. Once you reach level 3, you can unlock the tricks further down and so on until level 6. The main problem you'll find is that every time you do horse tricks, you unlock a random trick each time. So a lot of the times, they'll just be duplicates of what you already own. And this can get quite frustrating. It took me about 58 attempts to actually get all of the 12 tricks unlocked. Now I know you can use sim life points to unlock a random one from each row, as you can see but I was doing this without spending any life points or without spending any money. So 58 attempts is actually 174 hours of horse tricks. As you can see, I've tried various different things to get this to work better or to you know, try and unlock things easier. So I tried making sure my sim was inspired all the time. I tried ensuring that the horse was always inspired to see if that helped unlock new tricks, but it didn't seem to make any difference whatsoever. In the end, I decided two is better than one, and I purchased another horse and got one of my other sims to start doing horse tricks as well. Now this obviously halved the amount of time it would take to unlock all the tricks, so if you can afford it, I would recommend doing that. So for the time being, I'm just going to speed through me unlocking all the different tricks. You can see I did do every single one manually, I didn't use any life points to skip past it.
Sometimes there's a glitch when you have two horses in the same paddock, so I'd recommend that you just check if you've set two sims to do horse tricks that they both get into position correctly. As you can see here, one of my horses went on top of the other horse and then it couldn't complete the action, so I then had to move it and try again. When you finally get the whole set of horse tricks, like I said mine took 58 attempts, you will then unlock the vaulting hobby. So the full list of tricks is as follows. Take a bow, here boy, nod your head, hugs and kisses, stay put, meet and greet, rearing on up, spinning pony, back it up, look away, say hi and shake your head. Now you've completed this, you can purchase a two-star horse, which is a spotted grey. You can either use 30,000 simoleons to buy this spotted grey, or if you want the brown horse, you have to use 20 life points. As you can see, the three-star horse is still locked until the vaulting hobby has been completed. So I'm currently going through the vaulting hobby with one of my sims. I'm guessing it's going to take around about the same time that the horse tricks took, which is a very long time but you should hopefully understand now how to go through each of the different paddocks and unlock the three-star horse. I hope you found this video useful. As you can see, it took a long time to actually unlock all the tricks. It's sheer luck and determination really to actually get through it, unless you actually start using your life points, which I haven't used. So if like me, you want to do it all for free, be prepared to put a lot of time into doing the horse tricks hobby. Now the best tip I would give you is to have at least two horses which should hopefully halve the amount of time that it takes to complete. So leave any comments or questions you have down below, subscribe to my channel for more Sims videos and I will see you in the next